Welcome to our online event, Revealing Brilliant Experiences. We will get started shortly. Please note that if you experience any technical issues during this event, you can click on the question mark icon located at the bottom of your screen for event assistance. In addition, please note that although we will not be taking live questions during this event, you will receive a personalized follow-up email guiding you to more information and question forms. Enjoy the event. Hi, this is Greg Carter, and I lead the Internet of Things business for Acuity Brands. I want to welcome you to the webinar today. We're going to be telling you about a lot of exciting things going on at Acuity Brands and in the Internet of Things space and why this should matter to you. About a week ago, we launched the newest Acuity brand, Atrius. And with the launch of Atrius, we're consolidating all of our IoT products and services under one brand. At the same time, we launched partner programs because in the world of IoT, we know that you, no one company can do this by themselves. So we've launched two partner programs to bring along both lighting manufacturers and software companies to come along this journey of digital transformation with us. We also have launched an Atrius software platform and a whole set of tools to enable software partners to build IoT solutions on top of the data collected from our lighting and building management systems. And lastly, we made a commitment that as North America's largest lighting company, we're going to lead the industry into a new world where IoT solutions sit on top of smart lighting networks. That's a bold claim. Why do you think we can make that? There's lots of different technologies that are being used for IoT and many competing technologies, but we believe that lighting is unique for a number of reasons. First of all, lighting is in the right location. Wherever there are people, there are lights and lights are laid out in a dense grid so that all of the sources of data, whether it's a sensor or a device or a person, is gonna be in close proximity to a light. So it makes it the perfect place to mount sensors to be able to record what's happening in the world around us. Secondly, lighting has the right connection. One of the big challenges faced in IoT projects is how are you gonna power sensors and how are you gonna power the networks to bring that data back? But in the case of lighting, we already have a dedicated power source. And with the conversion to LEDs, we're now creating digital devices in every light. And with lighting control systems, we now have a digital network that connects them. So it's the perfect place to bring sensor data back. And lastly, this is the right time to do it. Because with the conversion to LEDs, we have a built-in funding mechanism for your IoT infrastructure. In, the, in many IoT projects, the biggest hurdle that we have to get over is the cost of putting in new dedicated network infrastructure to be able to pull data back from remotely located sensors and devices. But in the case of lights, the conversion to LED provides enough energy savings to make the payback period very short and provide you with a dedicated digital network. 
What that allows us to do is turn LED lights into windows into the world below them, collecting data from a variety of different locations and bringing that back to software systems that allow us to make buildings smarter and allow us to make better use of our space and make that space work for us. It's really all about connecting people to the systems and devices and sensors all around them, and even connecting people to the space itself to provide context. And what that allows us to do is deliver software that makes better use of our real estate investments, improve employee productivity and satisfaction, allow us to better connect with our customers, and even develop new products and services. So while we're bringing all this data together and making all these new connections, it's clearly bringing a whole world of opportunity to us. But at the same time, it has the potential to bring a lot of complexity. And so with Atrius, we're simplifying the transition to a digital world. And we're doing that through the introduction of the Atrius framework. This is three primary solution ingredients that allow us to build IoT solutions. The first one is the Atrius sensory network. And what we've done here is put IoT technology into our luminaires and the luminaires of our partners to be able to turn those lighting systems and the building management systems they connect to into an extensive sensory network that unlocks data from all around us. And then we bring that data into the Atrius platform, which is a software platform fully designed for the Internet of Things, where processing can happen in the cloud, at the edge, or anywhere in between, wherever we have processor capability. It can happen in the luminaires, it can happen in controllers, it can happen in employees and customer servers. The Atrius platform then exposes that data in the form of platform services. And I'm going to talk in a few minutes about the initial platform services we launched with the Atrius platform. And then lastly, we've introduced the Atrius Solution Builder, which is a drag and drop environment that allows partners uh, or customers to build rich solutions on top of the Atrius platform services, as well as taking in data from other sources. We have a whole set of drag and drop tools that allow you to visualize that data, set policies to take actions on that data, and basically build fully functioning IoT solutions without the need to hire software developers. And the result of all of that is to develop vertically focused business solutions that solve real problems for our customers. The first of the Atrius platform services that we've introduced is called Atrius Navigator. This is an indoor positioning service which we leverages two types of beaconing technologies that we've built into the components uh, that we use to Atrius enable lighting ma uh, manufacturers, luminaires. The beacons provide very precise indoor positioning. Many technologies that have been used in the past have not been able to get better than several meters of accuracy, but with our dual beaconing approach, we can get down to about four inches of accuracy in XY. And we were also able to tell where a mobile device is in the Z dimension. So we can determine the height of, of an object and be able to locate things on shelves, for instance. We all also can de de detect the orientation of the mobile device, so we can actually put an arrow on the map uh, and provide directions. So you can imagine all of these capabilities to, together allow you to build solutions like you've gotten used to with Google Maps in the outdoor environment, but bring that indoors. And we really look at this as a platform for innovation. Uh, when Google Maps first launched, who would have guessed that something like Uber would have been developed? And we, we feel like the same thing is going to happen in the indoor environment now that we bring that capability indoors. The second platform service we've introduced is called Atrius Spaces. And with this service, we're leveraging occupancy data from lighting control networks to be able to determine how our space is really being used. We can determine the, the percent occupancy at various points throughout the day and trend that over time. And this is really aimed at facility managers and real estate professionals who have to make critical decisions about whether, as their businesses expand, do they need to expand the space and incur the real estate costs of doing that? Or can they figure out that certain parts of their existing space are underutilized and reconfigure them to be able to make better use of the space that they already have? The third platform service we've introduced is called Atrius Assets. And Atrius Assets takes advantage of the same infrastructure that allows us to provide the Atrius Navigator services. But in this case, instead of locating a mobile device, we can locate asset tags that are low cost and can be placed on a whole variety of, of high value assets. Whether that's a, an employee with an employee badge, or it's a, a high value mobile asset like a forklift in a manufacturing plant or a crash cart in a hospital. 
And by knowing precisely where these assets are and where they're moving to, we can make better use of those assets. We can improve workflows. We can help employees during an emergency to locate exits. Uh, and we can make better use of our high-value mobile assets. And the last platform service we've introduced is called Atrius Insights. And this is a set of rich analytic tools that are based on all of the data we're collecting about how spaces are being used. We can do things like heat mapping to understand where people are spending time within a space. And this is the kind of analytics that people have been craving for in the retail industry for many years. We can do dwell time analysis to be able to determine how long a, a, a line is and determine when you need to uh, dispatch additional associates to be able to handle and reduce the lines. We can do a whole variety of path analysis to be able to optimize routes and improve workflow. We also have introduced two key partner programs. The first one is for lighting manufacturers, and we have a whole set of Atrius-enabled LED components that allow other partners to, to turn their luminaires into nodes in the Atrius sensory network and expose that data to software providers to increase the value of those luminaires. The other partner program for integrated solution providers is for software companies to be able to build their solutions on top of the Atrius platform or even integrate existing software products to the Atrius platform services so that they can offer new features and functions and more value to their customers. But even though we've just launched Atrius in the last week, we want to make it clear that we're not new to the IoT space. We've been doing this for years, and we've gone through the hard lessons of what it takes to build a powerful, robust, and secure platform, and the methodologies and tools that are necessary to deploy these sensory networks at scale. We currently have over 50 million square feet covered by the Atrius sensory network, and that's feeding data from over a million sensors to software applications that are improving business value for our customers. But the future is even brighter because Acuity has over 1 billion square feet covered by network control systems. And with the launch of Atrius, those are all available to be upgraded to join the Atrius sensory network. And with the Atrius partner programs to be able to enable other luminaire manufacturers, as well as the new luminaires coming out of Acuity brands that are Atrius enabled, we're expecting to expand this by over 300 million square feet a year with new projects. So with that, I'd like to issue a challenge for a number of different stakeholders listening to this webinar today. For lighting manufacturers, please reach out to us and find out how you can Atrius enable your luminaires and join the Atrius sensory network. For software providers, connect with us and find out how you can build solutions on top of the Atrius platform. And for everyone who's considering a lighting project, whether you're a specifier, a distributor, electrical contractor, a lighting agent, or a building owner, start to think about those projects as opportunities to do more than just light your space. Think of them as an opportunity to implement a platform for innovation that'll be with you for years to come. Thank you for listening, and we look forward to working with you to Atrius enable your projects. That concludes our event. Thank you again for joining us. You will be receiving a follow-up email shortly. We invite you to open that email and submit your questions through our event page. Have a brilliant day.